The Hippocratic Oath is an oath that all doctors take before they practice medicine. It pays respect to Hippocrates, a Greek practitioner of medicine in the ancient Western world. The Hippocratic Oath pays homage to all forces and people that help Hippocrates develop the medicine profession. Hippocrates is widely known as the father of medicine, but with a careful study of African history, you discover that Hippocrates is not the real father of medicine. The real father of medicine is an African comedic, Egyptian black man named Imhotep. He is the first personality in recorded history about whom much is known. The great Imhotep was the world's first multi-genius. Imhotep's African name means he who comes in peace. He was a scientist, scribe, philosopher, astronomer, mathematician, architect, historian, and doctor. Now this bears repeating. He was a scientist, scribe, philosopher, astronomer, mathematician, architect, historian, and a doctor. This man maximized his ability to create and his ability to be the best that he can be. We all have the potential of Imhotep running through our veins. I encourage us all, let's not waste our abilities and our talents. He built the world's first pyramid at Saqqara in Kemet thousands of years before Judaism, Christianity, and Al Islam even existed. The Step Pyramid is still around today in Kemet. Its complex contains the oldest masonry building in the world. He is credited with inventing the method of stone dress building and using the columns in architecture and is considered to be the first architect in history known by name. I say he is the first architect in history known by name. Imhotep, a black man. Imhotep built the Step Pyramid in 2630 BCE for King Dozier. Following Imhotep's example, new architects arose to construct the Great Pyramids of Giza in honor of pharaohs Khufu, Khafre, and Menkora. The Great Pyramids of Giza were created by African Kemetic people before there existed Western religions. They are the great wonders of the world. All this momentous construction in Kemet happened before the invasions of the Greeks, Romans, Muslims, and Arabs. Kemet comes from the hieroglyphics, or Medu Nature, the African word for hieroglyphics. That means the land of the blacks. Again, these great structures were built before the invasions of the Greeks, Romans, Arabs, and Muslims. According to historian Dr. Teofil Abinga, Egyptian hieroglyph writing is the oldest writing system in the world dating to the age of African antiquity as far back as 3400 BC, when the pre-dynastic Nubians of Egypt developed the Metonetra writing system in the Nile Valley during the era of the Kemetic civilization. Unfortunately, the Western mindset and the system of racism have whitewashed him in history. In other words, racist scholars have made Imhotep white or a non-African. However, Hippocrates gives credit to Imhotep in his oath, but he calls him by the Greek name Asclepius. The name Asclepius means God of Medicine. Fortunately, Despite the obstacle of whitewashing and the system of racism recording false notions about the history of black people, courageous historians have written the real facts on African history, African culture, and African spirituality. You see, in African history, many black historians are challenging racist textbooks about the facts on Imhotep. One of the black historians was the great Joel A. Rogers. He wrote two volumes on great black figures in history. The name of his book is called The World's Great Men of Color, Volume 1 and 2. Professor Rogers writes extensively about Nhotep in his book called World's Great Men of Color, Volume 1, Chapter 1.
Self-trained historian, novelist, and journalist Joe Augustus Rogers spent most of his life debunking pseudo-scientific and racist depictions of people of African ancestry while popularizing the history of persons of black people around the world. He goes on to say, When Egyptian civilization crossed the Mediterranean to become the foundation of Greek culture, the teachings of Imhotep were also absorbed there. But as the Greeks were wont to assert that they were the originators of everything, Imhotep was forgotten for thousands of years, and Hippocrates, a legendary figure who lived 2,000 years after him, became known as the father of medicine. It is too often forgot that when the Europeans emerged and began to extend themselves into the broader world of Africa and Asia during the 15th and 16th centuries, they went on to colonize most of mankind. Later, they would colonize world scholarship, mainly the writing of history. History was then written or rewritten to show or imply that Europeans were the only creators of what could be called a civilization. In order to accomplish this, the Europeans had to forget or pretend to forget all they previously knew about Africa. Thank the Most High Yah that we can read for ourselves now and we do not have to rely on others to tell our story. Can someone please answer me? Why is it necessary that when the Europeans colonize a country, when they invade a country, they find it necessary to completely erase the history of those people, to completely act like those people never existed and those great accomplishments were all European? And quite frankly, it's a rhetorical question because I do know my theory and what I believe, but I'm interested to find out what do other people, why do you feel that the Europeans find it necessary to erase a, our history in particular or to act like it never existed or to put white faces where black people clearly were the, the creators of different, different great structures like the pyramids and like the great structures that the Moors, the black Moors created in Europe, throughout Europe and all the different inventions why is it necessary to erase us? Why is that necessary? And with this critical race theory, why is it necessary to take our story out of history? And let's face it, the Europeans came up with some great inventions like the airplane. And you don't find anyone trying to take credit away from them or try to discredit them. But it, it, it just seems that it's necessary for, for them to take credit away from black people. And, and when you do your research, and the more you dig, the more you dig, the darker it becomes. And it becomes apparent that our people made a major contribution to this society. And to the world we live in. Now in America, it was illegal at one time for black people to read. And we were told that we had no history and that we had no past. However, when we begin to research and to look and to read for ourselves and interpret for ourselves, we find that not only do we have a history, but we had a great history, a history that we should know in particular and the world should know as well. The Black Excellence and Abundance Channel, where black history is every day. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember, thou art rich.